All right, so update on Gala Games. Uh, in my last video, I outlined, well, I think, you know, two videos ago when we came down here, I outlined that I do believe my next price target is down here at the 76. Now, I actually outlined this big green box. I think if we zoom out, yeah, you can see the top of this green box lines up with the 786, and the bottom of this box lines up with... Uh, you know, the micro 786 from this move from low to high. Uh, and obviously the 786 here is, you know, this big, big macro move we made from the start of the bull market all the way up to the all-time high, uh, you know, in November. So uh, what I said was that I think we would be coming down to here. You know, it we literally perfectly touched my target. So, I mean, um, I did say, you know, if we do come down here and have a bounce, we might be coming up to somewhere like here, at which point we would have to reevaluate what's happening in the market. My point was, you know, I am currently bearish on altcoins in the short term, because if we do come over to the total crypto market cap, we are just having bearish retest after bearish retest after drop after bearish retest, bearish retest on this 618 and this descending line. Let me make this a bit thicker so you can, um, you can see. I don't know why it keeps on getting smaller and smaller, but yeah. Uh, so honestly, what I said in the last video still stands. I think that we are coming down. If I can find Gala again. Okay, here we go. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I think that we are going to be coming down to here. I think the price target of the M pattern is still all the way down here at this green box. So I mean, uh, don't be surprised if we do something like a dead cat bounce, whether it's up to here, you know, 27 before coming down or whether it's up to 30 and then we start coming down. You know, do, do bear in mind both of those uh, situations are both equally plausible. Right now, I am fully sitting on the sidelines for all altcoins and that includes Gala Games. I personally have never bought this token. I wouldn't be opposed to making a short-term trade by, you know, buying it once I do feel like we have bottomed. But, you know, if we do zoom out, kind of collapse the RSI, RSI has, you know, been rejected from the 70. Looks like, in my opinion, it is probably coming down to, you know, somewhere like 30. Uh, the money flow indicator as well, pretty much every time we've topped, you can see here, here, well, we've only topped uh, twice, so, you know, using the two previous data points, we both came down to 27 on the money flow indicator. So, you know, we're currently on 39, so that gives you a bit of perspective. You know, there is still a chance for us to, you know, not necessarily come and fill this target. Like, I'm not saying that that is, you know, that is that is a steep drop, but, you know, do bear in mind, this is just like another, another one of those random altcoins, so... It could completely drop if the total crypto market cap keeps on dropping. If Bitcoin keeps on falling through the table, then I do believe that we will come down to this target. But, you know, like I said, right now, I am sitting on the sidelines. We've uh, disrespected this fib, uh, not this one here. We've disrespected this fib so we can get rid of it. We've now broken below the bottom of it. Uh, this more macro fib that is still in the macro term, you can see that we are, you know, we've, we've, basically perfectly back tested the 786 so in the short term as long as we do stay above uh 22.4 we are likely for a micro bullish bounce in the short term maybe up to like 23 percent i find this more likely than coming up here but you know do bear in mind i am specifically saying it in the micro term so in the micro term as long as we do stay above here we are bullish in the macro term we are still very much in this huge huge downtrend i mean this is very steep from all the way to all the way from 80 to like 23. So, you know, I see a lot of similarities in this chart to crypto.com had that huge, huge parabolic rally. And then ever since then, it's kind of just been, you know, slowly, slowly going down. So, you know, I think at some point this coin will have its day in the sun. Right now, I'm not convinced that, you know, we are done with the downtrend simply because if we just look at, you know, stock market going down like shit, crypto markets going down like shit, Bitcoin going down. So, I mean, all in all, nothing for me to really get out of bed for. I have said this on all my altcoin videos. I am fully out of altcoins at the moment. Um, I do have a long-term hold in crypto.com uh, just because I have a card with them and I do have a long-term hold in Solana, but I do not have any spot positions right now which aren't tied up with staking. So right now I am sitting fully on the sidelines just in Bitcoin. I am looking for cheaper prices on these altcoins against the BTC pair. 
So yeah, I mean that's basically all I see. If we uh, if we do have a daily close below 22.4, then I believe you know we're going to be coming down to uh, probably this green box down here. So anywhere between 17.6 and 15, the slightly more conservative target would put us down another 21% from the breakdown and 22% from where we are now. So yeah, that's all I see for Gala right now. Do bear in mind just to reiterate. As long as we do stay above 22, uh, 22.4 in the short term, we are likely for a dead cat bounce potentially up to here before heading down. Uh, but in the macro term, we are still very much in this huge downtrend and we do have this M pattern that we need to uh, to consider to maybe calm down to. So yeah, that's all I see for Gala Games right now. Once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.